All right, let's work on some exercises with condensed formulas. So try expanding out these condensed formulas. So press pause, work on these by yourself, and then when you're ready, press play and we'll go through them. Okay, so hopefully you've gone through this first example here, CH3, CH2, 6, CH3. Now, this bracket here refers to the fact that we've got CH2s in brackets and we've got a 6 after, which means there's actually 6 CH2s. So let's just CH2, 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 5, CH2, CH3. Okay, so in other words, there's 8 carbons. So this is, this is actually octane oct meaning eight. So another way of drawing this out would be, an equivalent way of drawing this out would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight carbons, so that's, that's octane. Okay, good, so let's try this second example. Now in the second example, we've got CH3s in brackets and we've got three afterwards. So we've got three of these CH3s and it's by definition, uh, the brackets are gonna be, whatever's in the bracket is gonna be attached to whatever's next to it. Okay, so in the case of our CH3s, uh, we're going to have CH3, C, CH3, CH3, and now the C here is attached to an OH, so we have to draw an OH next to it. So CH, there's three CH3s attached to the central C and the OH, so that's how the condensed formula can be converted into the actual uh, line drawing for this molecule. You can also um, draw out the same molecule using a line drawing uh, like this. So instead of drawing CH3, you just draw lines. And so this is also the same same molecule. Okay, uh, let's then work on this one. This one might be a little bit, actually let's work on this one first, okay, because um, it applies the same principle. So CH3, CH, now we've got a bracket and CH2, CH3. Now here actually just requires a little bit of just um, thinking things through, remembering that every carbon is going to follow the octet rule. So um, you know we could, some people might be initially tempted to draw out seeing that CH3 and they might think that it might mean putting that CH3 on the CH2 which is next to. But if you think about this, this doesn't make any sense, right? Because we've got a carbon which is attached to two H's as well as a carbon and another CH3. So this would actually break the octet rule. Uh, and this carbon would actually only be attached to three things. So let's move it over here. So this is one way of expanding out our formula. Um, alternatively, we can draw it out a little bit more precisely like this. And this way you can actually see what everything is attached to. Like that. Okay. So that's a second and equivalent way of drawing out uh, this exact same molecule. And there's actually a third way of drawing this molecule out as well, just using a pure line diagram. Um, and that would be just, just drawing it out like this. So one, two, three, four carbons in a row and all of the hydrogens we, we, we omit drawing because it actually um, saves us quite a bit of time and we don't have to draw in all the hydrogens. So we've got four carbons in a row here and we've got a CH3 attached to the second carbon. So this would actually be 2-methylbutane two, two if you're interested in how to, how to name this molecule. So we can draw it as its condensed formula, CH3, CH bracket, CH3, CH2, CH3. You might also see it drawn like this in which we've we've continued having CH3, CH3, CH2, CH3, and having CH here. Um, alternatively, you might draw it out as the line diagram, um, this type of line diagram, and finally the, the really condensed line diagram uh, as the final way to draw it out, probably the fastest way to draw it out. Okay, so like I said, we've just gotta keep track that make sure that every carbon is following the, the octet rule uh, here. Okay, so let's try this last example. So CH3, C bracket, O, CH2, CH3. Now, sometimes the first time people see this, they might get a little bit confused as to what that bracket O means. But remember, we're gonna have to make sure that everything follows the octet rule, okay? Everything wants to follow the octet rule. So let's just 
draw on what we have so far. We have a CH3. Now that CH3 is attached to three hydrogens and it's attached to the carbon next door. Okay, so that follows the octet rule. This carbon is attached to two hydrogens and the carbon next door and this carbon. So that also follows the octet rule. This carbon on the far side, it's attached to three hydrogens and a carbon. So that also follows the octet rule, it's attached to four things. That leaves us with this carbon, okay, which we haven't dealt with yet, and this bracket O. Now we want also this carbon to follow the octet rule. So if the carbon just had a single bond to O, um, we would only have, it would, the carbon would at this point only be bonded to three things. So this carbon, this carbon, and the oxygen. So this would actually not have a full octet. In order for this carbon to actually obey the octet rule, it would actually have to be a double bond to the oxygen. Okay, and that is in fact what this bracket O means. This bracket O means that this is a carbon-oxygen double bond. So a different way of drawing out this molecule looks like this. Okay, so this is 2-butanone, two 2-butanone. Two and it can be represented like in this line diagram here, or CH3C, CH2, uh, CH3 with the O up here, or in the condensed formula, CH3, C bracket O, CH2, CH3. One other thing to note is that sometimes when line diagrams get drawn, uh, the lone pairs get omitted on the oxygens. And uh, just one thing to keep, in keep track here is that even though we don't draw in the lone pair sometimes, you're supposed to just know that, that they're there. So that'll come up in a minute. We'll, we'll talk about hidden hydrogens and lone pairs. Uh, in a couple of videos from here.